Hi, this is problem 13 from the 2019-12A. How many ways are there to paint each of the integers 2 through 9, either red, green, or blue, so that each number has a different color from each of its proper divisors? Okay, so proper divisor is a divisor not equal to 1. And let's uh, list out our numbers, see how they're all connected. Now, 2, 4, and 8 kind of jump out to me because they all kind of share proper divisors with each other. So those are quite connected. We have three colors to distribute among the three numbers, 2, 4, and 8. And there really can't be any duplicates for this grouping of three. And that seems to be like a simple permutation. Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty helpful. Uh, let's see what else is connected. Um, we look like 5 and 7 aren't really connected at all. And those are kind of handy because whatever choices we make for 5 and 7, those are going to be independent choices. So that's, that's kind of easy. 6 is connected to both 2 and 3. But 2 and 3 are not connected to each other. And 9 is connected to 3. All right, those are the connections. And let's see. Um, I still like this grouping of three, two, four, and eight, to start our count. Because again, that's a simple permutation of the three colors distributed among these three numbers. So there's three factorial, six ways to do that. Um, now once we make this choice of the three colors, two is going to end up with some particular color. And no matter how that color uh, is decided or chosen, we're going to have two choices remaining for the number 6 so that it doesn't clash with the number 2. Uh, let's see. Now having chosen the color for 6, we're always going to have two choices remaining for the color for the digit 2. And 5 and 7 will have three choices for their colors regardless because they're not connected in any way. And no matter what color ends up on 3, we're always going to have two choices left for the number 9. So I think that's a fair representation of the choices that are available. I think we can just multiply those all out. And so we'll have 6 times 2 to the 3rd times 3 squared. That's 2 to the 4th times 3 cubed. That's 27 times 16. 62, 27... 432 for choice E. So I think that's the right answer, but uh, being a complicated counting problem, I'm, I'm never 100% sure. I can usually get to 90, 95% confidence, but that's often the best I can do. So hope that's right. Take care. Bye-bye.